Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps or Journal Scraps, depending on the channel you are watching and welcome to another video in my Brothers Sewing Machine series. I'm using Brothers SM8270 machine that you could pick up from Costco or Amazon. I'll have links below. In this video, we are going to work with our characters. This machine has 55 characters that you could play around with, letters, numbers, and symbols to create your own custom phrases. In this video, I also offer a super duper cool tip that will make maneuvering between these different functions so much easier. To get started, I'm gonna turn my machine on and we are at the default screen. You will see two zeros and the letter J. If we worked in this mode, the letter J symbolizes we need the J foot and that's if we stayed in this mode. Now, when I first saw all of these buttons, I was confused. I didn't know what button did what. I had to actually do some stitching to figure out what everything meant. And you will see if you watch my series that some of these buttons are dual functioning. They have two different purposes. You're gonna see one of those purposes in this video, but let me direct your attention over here. You see two buttons here and you see two circles that's next to each button. Now we're not gonna use this function here, but I do wanna spend a second and talk about this button. If you depress it, the light or the circle lights up green. Well, you probably can't see this symbol, but it's three stitches. This symbol is the same as this symbol here. So when this circle is lit up, it lets you know you are working with the 99 stitches that are available on the machine. If I depress this button, now this symbol is lit up. This symbol looks just like this symbol down here, which are the satin stitches. And there's 59 satin stitches on my machine. So depressing this button, you switch between these stitches and the satin stitches. But once again, we will not be working with this button in this video. We will be working with this button. So let's go ahead and depress it. This light or this circle lights up and then you see this A in a block. Well, this button controls the two font sets available on my machine. There's a font set here and a font set here. When this circle is lit up, you know that we have selected this particular font. This A looks just like this A. If I depress it, this A looks like the A here that you can't see via screen. So um, depending on which font you want to use, you would hit this button to select the font. To make my sewing machine more user friendly because I'm a novice sewer. But what I've done, I've taken my brother label machine and I'll have this link below. And I have created labels that say L, W, 10, and 01. And I also have more labels that you can't see in the video on my machine. So I can remember what each function is for. Once again, some of these functions are dual functions. They serve two different purposes. But the first thing we need to do is make sure that we have the font we want to use selected. So I'll use this font here. Now the great thing about these fonts, because it's difficult to see the font that's flat, but because the numbers are the same for each character, if you wanted to use this bottom font, and let's say if it's hard to see what number corresponds with, let's see, K. You could just look up here. K corresponds with 11. And it's the same for both fonts. So that's super cool. So I want to use this font though. And we are going to stitch out the phrase, God is love. Now this is a cool tip for you guys. It is difficult to maneuver and use the panel 
So what I did was I spelled out my phrase, God is love, in one color marker. And then I took a different color marker and I labeled every character with a number, including the spaces. Make sure you, um, if you decide to adopt this technique, you need to add a number for your spaces because spaces are characters. And then in a different color marker, I looked at my panel and I gave each of my letter its corresponding number. And I got that right from the panel. You will see how this cheat sheet will save you time and frustration because I think this model lacks a feature but writing your phrase out beforehand, you'll see how handy that is. Now, what you wanna do, you want to double check, you wanna proofread your cheat sheet before you insert your characters in your system because if you make a mistake, like let's say if you, like if I had an E here instead of an O, I would have to delete every letter or every character before the O and then finally delete the O to correct the O. There's no way you can insert characters between your characters, but you can insert a character at the end. So let's go ahead and input our characters. I'm gonna use my guide, my cheat sheet, and I need to select number seven. And this is where these two functions come into play. There's a plus sign on top and a minus on the bottom, and there's two sets. I've added the number 10 here because this particular um, plus sign, if I press it, it will increase by 10. If I press the minus, it decreases by 10. If I press this plus sign, it increases by one. If I hit the minus, it decreases by one. Now you guys have to check out my separate video just on these two functions because it's confusing to a degree and I break all that down in my other video. So let's select number seven right there. Now to save it, that's where we use the bottom buttons here. If you see here, it says delete and add. Well, to add it, you press the plus sign and you know it's been added because this top number it increased from zero to one. This one also increased from zero to one. So let's go ahead and input 15. And let's save it. And you see here that both numbers increased to, um, to two. Let's go ahead and add the next one, which is four. And let's save it. Oh, you see here, there's a space. To add a space, you would select 30 and add the plus. So this is where you will see how my handy dandy cheap sheet, how it's a lifesaver and you will love me. You're gonna give me a thumbs up just for this tip. Let me tell you because, oh, it's gonna be frustrating if you do not use my cheat method. Alrighty, but first pay attention to the letter N. It switched or changed from J to N, which means we have switched modes and we need to put in the presser foot that has the letter N on it. If you do not use this foot, you risk damaging or breaking your needle. All right, these two numbers, they say four. What do they represent? This top number four represents the fourth character that we have inputted. In our case, it's the last character. This bottom four means that we have saved four characters. If I press this minus, and by the way, you see the word check here, that means if you wanna check your characters to make sure that you have the right number matching the right letter, you would use the minus and the plus buttons. If I depress the minus, you see how it decreases and this number also changes. I can go all the way down to number one, which is the first character that we inputted. 
So let's say if we want to check to make sure that we have the right numbers to the letters. And this is where it gets frustrating and kind of confusing. Number one, you have to remember what, what your phrase is, right? That's where my cheat sheet comes into play. My first letter is a G and I need to make sure that seven corresponds with G. So I will look up here at my panel. But if you have my cheat sheet, this is where it comes in handy too. Number one represents the first character. I would look at number one here, which is my first character. I know it's a G and I know the number is seven. So instead of going back and forth between the fonts and the numbers and the LCD screen, I can just look at my cheat sheet to do my checks and balances, which is why it's important if you use a cheat sheet, you have to make sure this is correct. So you want to double check this first. Okay, but let's just use the LCD screen to check it. Okay, so the first character, I know it's correct. Let's hit the plus sign. And now the second character, because here, well, if we look at the screen, number 15 up here is O. So I know that's correct. Um, my next character would be a D. So let's hit this plus sign. And we have to make sure that D is 4. And it is by looking up here. But once again, if you look at my cheat sheet, it makes it that much simpler. And that's because if you're like me, you've already forgotten what your phrase was. Ha! <laughs> Okay, so let's say if you want to delete a character, this is where you use the minus button on the bottom. Remember, the plus adds a character, the minus delete. And by the way, it says delete slash add on the bottom. Well, what you would do is we are on our fourth character and we know that because of the top number. And we have to delete the last character to get to the character we want to delete. So let's go ahead and press minus. And you see it decreased down to the third character. Let's delete that character. And it decreased down to the second character. Well, let's delete that. And now we have one character, which is our first character. And we know that because of the number one here. And we only have one character saved because of this bottom number. And if we delete that, we have deleted all of our characters. You know you have deleted your characters when you see the two dashes here. And we have nothing stored in our memory because we see the zero that's here. And I've added the characters again to stitch out God. And I, I want you to pay attention to these numbers, how they will change. When it first starts stitching, it's going to stitch out seven, which is the G. But then this number seven will become number 15 when it stitches out O and so forth. So let's go ahead and do that. And you see here how this number changes too, depending on the character down here, the number of the character. And this is how it looks stitched out. I still need to clean up my thread. But in another video, I show, I demonstrate how you can add spaces, how you can adjust the stitch length. So be sure to check that out. Okay, last thing I wanna show, I'm gonna turn my machine back on because the settings are saved permanently until you delete them, even if you turn your machine back off. So we need to hit this bottom button and that takes us back to that function we were in. And I can still see that I have three characters that are stored. To delete those characters, remember you press the minus, press the minus, press the minus until you have nothing stored and you know that because of the zeros on the bottom. And the last thing I wanna point out if you check your characters, by default, you start backwards. You see here the third character out of three. And so you would start with your last character and then decrease it to number two and then to number one. Or what you can do is just keep hitting this minus button until you get to character one. And 
check your characters starting from character one. If you have found this tutorial beneficial and informational, why not give me a thumbs well, up? Well, I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.